That's how a professional chef does things. The way my family did repetition, and I'll call it repetition, they straight up did it underground like a home cook. And people say one way or another, what's better, a home cook or a professional chef? What are you going to be, Chef Boy or D? Are you going to be, are you going to be uh, Rachel Ray? Are you going to be one of those? You know, uh, what? Who are you as 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 far as? And I don't consider myself a, I don't consider myself a, I don't consider myself an escrimador. I don't consider myself a martial arts instructor. I will instruct my history, my culture, the movements, the techniques like this. That's that could be a lifesaver. The palm right to the nose. Look at that's another thing you can practice. Right to the nose, right to the chest. Like a football move, you know, straight up football move. Some dude's trying to stab you, you want to keep that 21 feet distance, right? Boom. If you have to do double palm, double palm, right? Boom. We have to just be realistic and say that um, we live in an era of, of gun violence. There are, there, also, there are knife attacks, there are, someone gets a lead pipe, lead pipe attacks, but I live in Stockton where gun violence rolls. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. You don't bring a stick to a gunfight. Um, that's all I'm going to say about why I call it repetition. Because my ancestors called it repetition. If anything, if they gave it a name, it was repetition. If they gave it, a, if they didn't say anything, oh, that's called fighting. Oh, what do you mean fighting? That's called stick fighting. What do you call it? It's screamer. The most simplest thing. My cousins, my uncles, my aunts, my mom, they would say, oh, that's called a screamer. Sometimes we wouldn't call it repetition. They say this is a screma. A screma means a skirmish in Spanish or to to have a fight, to have a stick fight, you know. And the reason why there were sticks was because when the Spaniards came, they took away the, the, the weapons. They took away the daggers, the swords from the majority of the Filipinos. But the Filipinos were able to incorporate into dances. See right here? Right. This is deadly, right? Ooh, almost deadly. This right here, a little dance move, right? If the Spaniards saw a little dance move, they were like, cool with it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's a cool dance you're doing. Well, what they don't really know is like, that. you always want to do the tapi tapi, the tap, as much as you need to. Not all the time. But the reason why you do the tap, because if your hands are right here, your hands aren't right here. All right? If your hands are right here, the tapi tapi, you tap it. Your hands are not going to be in front of the blade, on the side of the blade where you get cut. Let's, put, let's do a little dance move again right there, right? See? Boom, 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 A little bit more history. I'll just share with you. Um, Repetition Eskrima is at its purest. Um, it's self-defense, self-protection. Uh, live to fight another day. Strike hard, strike fast, strike often. Um, bring it to the spiritual realm. Some people don't want to hear the spiritual realm part. How do we strike spiritually? We strike in prayer, we strike in reading our words, strike in doing the word. What happens? How do we strike hard? We strike hard with repenting. Repent hard. What if you've made mistakes in your, in, throughout the day? Maybe you've done something, you said something, you thought something that wasn't, wasn't cool. How do you deal with that? In the spiritual, just repent hard. Just get on your knees and say, cry to God. God's going to hear you. Um, often. Always got to go to God in prayer. Well, I always tell people, prayer is talking to God and God is talking back through His Word. You might not believe that. My have your own ideology, which is cool with me. I mean, hey, I'm not here to, um, to, to be anybody's protector, except for uh, protect my, uh, my, my family and, and salvation, okay? You know, I, I could only do my part. I sneeze a little. See, that's where the part you're supposed to say, God bless you. God bless you, Sam. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to say about repetition. It's simple. And it's it's fun. Once you get once you get that place where you know how to defend yourself, you know how to block a move, you know how to do the footwork. There's only nine moves in in uh, repetition. And that's over the over an oversimplification. 
And I haven't told somebody that. And they're like, what? You, there's only nine moves? And I go, yeah. You got footwork. You got weapons. Uh, you got still weapons. You got sticks. You got peripheral vision surroundings. You got, um, and it was like, I listed off four more things. The part, number one thing for me is the spiritual aspect. Uh, all the repetition fighters that I knew of, um, that I know of, which is basically three. Here's my grandpa, you know, my distant uncle uh, from the history books, uh, Tatang and, and myself, you know. And we, we're all believers in the Lord Jesus. We're, we're all believers. You read about Tatang and... <laughs> He put Bible scriptures on on his on his on his person. You know, he uh, my grandpa you know, had the Lord's Prayer um, anointed. They would say anti 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 means supernatural power anointed on his leg, and uh, they say protect him. I don't think you need to have a tattoo on your leg anymore. I really don't think he even needed it. We caught on Father God. Wow, he's out here to get me. A long time ago, protect him, protect his kids, his daughter, protect his grandchildren, and protect his great grandchildren. He'll be proud of uh, his little great great grand grandson, little little man. Uh, repetition escrima is an art of, um, of of just if you can take a step back. Uh, and be deflected out of the out of the the knife, out of the dagger, out of the stick. If you if you have to fight, fight. We don't like fighting. We don't like people getting hurt. People can get hurt for a simple misunderstanding. All these allergies are really bad. I will stress the fact is that uh, if you want to take any classes, I you know I'm still teaching free at the park until further notice. Alright, you guys have a good day. Bye.